what drew me to uh, biomedical engineering, it's, it's a longish story, but I could sum it up in one word, providence. It was about 1985 when I was graduating from uh, undergrad, and it was the height of the uh, Star Wars uh, uh, Cold War. And the last thing I wanted to do in life was design helicopters and bombs and weapons of destruction. And by accident, I discovered biomedical engineering. It was actually a thing in the library that reminded me of the $6 million man. And when I saw this thing in the library, I said, that is so cool. That's what I want to do. And the rest is history. Uh, my research today, um, interestingly, is the last thing I ever thought I was going to do when I got into biomedical engineering. It's developing artificial hearts or heart assist devices uh, for adults and currently uh, focusing for uh, devices for children. I love I BME at Cornell. For one thing, the students are awesome and it's just it's a delight to teach them and it's just really invigorating and really fulfilling. Um, secondly, the people are awesome. They're all very smart, smarter than me, and I have such great class. I, I feel that Cornell does everything right. And, and I've been at a number of other institutions as a point of reference, and um, uh, I really think that we have a class act here. Um, okay, a fun fact about me, well, I always, if you catch me in the hallway, I always carry a harmonica with me. I rarely play it. <laughs> it's, it's like my um, security blanket. Um, it's actually a harmonica that I invented. I have, I think, an equal number of patents for harmonicas than I have for artificial hearts. And if uh, 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 called upon to play, I could probably play something. Get the idea. Let me introduce you to my wall of fame. This is in my office. It's here for me just to remind me of how fortunate I've been in my career. This is my Wall Street Journal article, front page, Monday edition, above the fold. It has to do with the harmonica <laughs> and somewhat with the artificial heart. Uh, an article about the streamliner pump that I developed in uh, Design News. Uh, Pittsburgh Magazine, as a graduate student, sleeping in my office on a hammock when I was uh, working with the Artificial Art Program. Uh, proclamation from the mayor of Pittsburgh, Jim Antaki Day, October 15, 1998. And then my crowning achievement is getting to meet my hero, Mr. Rogers, and getting an autographed uh, trolley from Mr. Rogers.